What is up everybody and welcome to another video. In today's video, I am uh, at work actually. Like we literally just wrapped and uh, I have my cart right here and I thought it'd kind of be the perfect opportunity to talk a little bit more about like what I do and uh, how my setup here actually works. So uh, this is my cart. Um, this is the breakdown process of that. This is what I have to do at the end of basically every gig. Uh, is throw all my stuff back into the car. So, you can see I have my bag here, my battery bag, and then I have a little strap here that I just kind of hold everything down with. Um, and essentially we're gonna take this entire mess and pack it into the car. So, uh, first thing I wanna do is just get everything off the top of the cart. So, I have my sound bag that has all of the operational equipment kind of already put into it. This carries all of the batteries, so I've got a bunch of rechargeable double A's and stuff like that. I got a couple time code boxes inside of there. Um, that's how that all works. You can see also I've got wireless receivers on the front of this guy, a battery solution in the bottom, um, stuff like that. So a lot going on. This is where I keep my uh, headphones. So these are my little custom in-ear monitors. These are super, super nice for on-set recording in my opinion. Uh, let's see. So, still in the vein of getting everything off of here, I have, this is my little Comtech bag. It's just got a bunch of uh, headphones and stuff that different people can listen in. These are just some extra cables that I happen to need for this particular gig. We were doing kind of like a setup at a recording studio, so I had to plug into their systems and do some interesting stuff there to grab the audio. So then we have uh, this guy, this is a grip head with a boom holder. Um, this just goes right in here. And uh, alongside that, we put the stand in there. So this is the stand that that goes on. This allows me to fly a boom over top of somebody that's sitting down stationary. Um, you know, so if I'm doing like interviews and stuff like that, usually I'll have that kind of situation set up where I have, you know, my boom over top. Oh God. Oh wow, I just totally ganked the camera. That sucks for that thing. Sorry camera, are you mad at me now? Is it, is it, uh, 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 there we go. That's what I get for getting, uh, getting cocky. Anyways, um, yeah, so, you know, if I'm doing a situation where I've got somebody that's like just sitting, uh, then I can fly the boom and not have to worry too much about that. I got plenty of masks in my car, all of them, uh, orange, of course. Um, very important. Uh, let's see here. The boom bag is very important, so that's what this guy is right here uh, from K-Tech. Uh, the boom bag just carries my booms. I've got two different booms in there. Very important. Then we can start actually packing stuff away. So this is a Robo Cup. This is one of my favorite uh, things that goes on the cart. It's just a cup holder, but it clamps onto any pipe. That's always fun. And then we got my rental from True Audio. True Audio is a local Atlanta audio rental place. Highly suggest them. Uh, anytime I need extra wires or anything like that, always go to True Audio. Shout out to those guys. They actually have um, something that's kind of cool. Uh, they actually have one of my shirts displayed in True Audio. Like they, they had me give them one of the, uh, the Pride shirt and they put it up for display, which is just the sweetest gesture. So thank you uh, so much to the guys at True Audio. You guys are the best. I'm about to go bring that back to them. I actually was gonna do an after hours return of this rental, but uh, I just so happened to be wrapping in time to go do it a during hours return, which is much better because then I get to see all the people at True Audio and enjoy them. All right, uh, now we can pack up this guy. So I've got an underfloor sort of storage area in my Rogue, which is super nice. And now we've got this bad boy right here. So first thing I need to do is pop up these guys to make some space, because my cart is actually pretty huge. And so making sure that everything actually fits properly is kind of paramount. Specifically, that seat on the left is the one that'll kind of block it when I have this cart installed, but let's grab all this. So, this is my case. Uh, this has a bunch of stuff in it, but this is mostly just stuff that I need. So that's good. And then we have this bad boy right here. Um, 
which is my full-sized cart. So that's a sandbag, by the way. Very important for the stand that I have. So this is my innovative cart. Uh, I really love this thing because it's a big ass film cart, but when you take it apart, it actually folds down flat. And so it allows me to take this thing wherever I want much easier uh, and like keep it in my car and not totally utterly uh, make it impossible to access. So that's that guy. Yeah, you can see it folds up like nice and flat. So pretty impressive. Anyways, pop that on there. Ugh. Throw this guy in. It's not too heavy either, thankfully. So that my loadout is a one person job, which is all I could ask for because having it not be a one person job would suck. I put the sandbag in the middle just to keep them from bumping into one another. And that is pretty much my loadout process for my car. So yeah, um, you know, doing this kind of work is definitely a lot of fun and it's, it's definitely my preferred thing. I just enjoy sound and audio in general and so, uh, you know, I think it's kind of neat that I get to share a bit of that excitement with you all alongside of the Balasong stuff. But yeah, I just had a three day long gig and that was a lot of fun. And I thought maybe I'd show you a bit of the teardown process. So yeah, that's pretty much it for now. Thanks for watching. See you later. Peace.